Ooh, welcome back to the Colorado Avalanche GM mode here in NHL 16. This is going to be episode 19 of the Avalanche GM mode. And in today's episode, we'll be taking on the Dallas Stars a couple games before the All-Star game here in about mid-January. It's January 13th in-game. We'll be taking on the Stars in Dallas. But before we do that, we have a few things to go over. And the first things first is how interesting the standings are right now. Now, I'm sure you guys remember that the Avalanche are having a good season. We're sitting at 26 and 16 and 2 right now. And throughout the season, we've really been like top three in the West. We've always been like top two in the in the Central. But now we are fourth in the Central and we're sixth in the West. But the interesting thing about that is that the top six teams in the West are all within one point of each other. The top three teams, one through three, all have 55 points. And then th and then the teams that are 4 through 6, which is including us, have 54 points. So literally, like, the 6th team, us, could win a game, and the 1st team could lose a game, and we could rock it up to, like, 1st place. It's it's ridiculous how, how this is working out right now, because the top 6 is just so incredibly close. It is literally like an arms race in this Western Conference right now. And a uh, pretty big reason why we are doing so well is of Matt Duchesne. Matt Duchesne... It has 19 goals, which leads our team, 26 assists, which leads our team in 45 points, which also leads our team, obviously. Gabriel Landeskog is second in goals with 14 goals, 19 assists, and 33 points. Uh, Bodker has the second amount of points and assists on the team. He's got 13 goals, which is only, of course, one below Landeskog, 23 assists, and 36 points. And then Grigorenko is producing on that second line, burying some goals. Doesn't get too many assists. He's got 13 goals, but only 13 assists. And he's got 26 points. Keep in mind, those four guys have all played exactly 44 games. And then, of course, we still have Miko Rotten in out. He is still injured. He is still going to be out until about mid, about late February with that herniated disc. So don't expect him back until probably... Uh, he's probably going to be out for one more episode. And then the next episode, he'll probably be back. I think that's how it's going to work out. And, uh, yeah, so let's hop into this game against the Dallas Stars. The stars at night are big and bright. <laughs> deep in the heart of Texas. Here we are deep in the heart of Texas. The 1919-4 Dallas Stars play host to our 26-16-2 and and Colorado Avalanche. Carrie Letton in, in between the pipes for the Dallas Stars. The Finnish goalkeeper. And then we also have a Finnish goaltender. I don't want to say goalkeeper. Auntie Ranta in between the pipes for us. Our back is getting a chance here in this game. Giving Malcolm Subban a rest. So we'll start things off. Early first period. A very strong forecheck from the Avalanche as usual. Just a relentless forecheck. A cross crease attempt saved by Lettinen somehow. And another cross crease and another save by Lettinen. Making huge saves out here early on in the first. And then later on in the first, 348 left. A rush from the Avalanche. A shot goes wide, picked up by Bodker, takes it behind the net, skates out in front, loses the puck, Duchesne picks it up, fires it on net, and it's covered up by Lettinen. And that would be literally all that happened in the first period. Very boring first period. And for the second period, very boring second period, because we're skipping straight into the three-minute mark. Shot rings off Lettinen's mask, and then shot out, or ricochets out in front, and Connor Bleakley gets the backhander over Lettinen's shoulder. That's going to be a goal. 1-0 Avalanche. The first of e the first of the game for either team with 3.07 left in the second. Assisted by Bork and Rask. And once again, a pretty boring second period because that would be literally all that happens in the second period. So it's a 1-0 Avalanche lead heading into the third. 6 because nothing happened at the beginning of the third. And we've got a breakaway from Landeskog here. But he can't bury it. Saved by Lettinen. And then 36 seconds left, we have a rush from the Avalanche. A cross-crease attempt, but a man runs right into the net. I believe that was Peverly who ran into the net. So nothing going there. Now here come the Stars. Cross into the Avalanche zone. Trying to get something to go here with the empty net. Uh, Russell, the Frenchman, tries to pass down low, but then he gets it back to himself and somehow gets that around Ronza. Antoine Roussel, who is, well, not a very... Potent goal scorer. He's not exactly known for goal scoring. He's more known for being a grinder slash fighter type player enforcer. But uh, he's burying goals there. So now it's a 1 1 hockey game with no time left as we're going to be heading to overtime. Tied at 1. Colorado and Dallas. 
So let's start things off in overtime. Here are the stars in the Avalanche zone, cycling it around, uh, centering try, and the one-timer is saved by Ronta. A huge save there to keep the game tied and keep his team in the game. So another save here by Ronta, picked up by the Avalanche. Hedman passes up the Duchesne. He's got one man to beat, and he does, and he buries it on the breakaway. Matt Duchesne's 20th goal of the season is a big one. An overtime winner here in Dallas to come with the victory over the Dallas Stars in their early 2000s throwback night with the old jerseys. Auntie Ronta could not get the shutout, but he gets the victory, and I'm sure he'll take that. So the Avalanche come with the victory here over the Dallas Stars by a score of 2-1 in this overtime thriller. Matthew Shane buries the goal in overtime for the game winner for his 20th of the season as well. So with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this edition of Colorado Avalanche Hockey. I've been your host, Jersey Born, and I'm saying goodbye. It was a big, big world, but we thought we were bigger. Pushing each other to the limits, we were learning quicker. By 11, smoking herb and drinking burning liquor. Never rich, so we were out to make that steady bigger. Once I was 11 years old, my daddy told me, go get yourself a wife or you'll be lonely. Once